Hello everyone, I'm Miranda, and welcome back to my War Machine Tactics series, where I go through the single-player campaign on a weekly basis. Now, the last video we did the training mission, which was just the first mission in the game, and now we're going on to mission two, which uh, explores a little more of the gameplay. So, mission two of War Machine Tactics. She's a grand city, Corvus. Not as majestic as Caspia, or as metropolitan as Cyril, but perhaps more admirable than either given the threats that surround her. From here, you'd never know Corvus had a care in the world. And yet, with the war so close, her people meet each day with fear and uncertainty. Why don't they leave? Why not flee to Caspia? Why don't you? I... chose to fight. Indeed. Signarans don't give up their homes without a fight. That is who we are. But to those people in that city, on their knees before Moro every night to pray for another sunrise, what you are is far more important. One in a million can do what you can do, can aspire to what you can become. Never forget what you are, Allison. When you tremble inside, when your training fails you, remember that you are above all other things, a war caster. Technically, my mentorship had come to an end. This was my first combat deployment as a journeyman war caster, and I was eager to get into the fight. But more than anything, I wanted to live up to Commander Sturgis' expectations. The Cadorans had captured Fisherbrook, a small river town with a logging railroad that ran between the Thornwood coal mines and the Dragon's Tongue. The train was an essential part of the commander's deployment strategy, so the first order of business was to take back the town. Commander, we seem to have forgotten something, like our army? An all-out siege would cost lives we can't spare. You and I will breach those walls with a surgical strike. Then we can move the battalion up safely. By surgical, you mean... You keep the Reds off me while I get those main gates open. Sir, there must be dozens of them. You're right. Hardly a fair fight. All they have are guns and spears. Well, we've got warjacks. And magic. <laughs> That's a pretty cheesy line, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so we're gonna just give one to Bandit to run up. Looks like the only people in my army is just Jake's and her. Alright, so. Uh, we'll go as far as we can go with him. And his activation with X. She'll move up, but I want her to be able to cast a spell, so spells, sidekick. Just what again? Gain plus one defense. Yay! Alright, cool. So that's my activation. Again, you can see over to the left here, uh, the, the little icons are faded out, so I can't do anything else. So we have to click end turn. My life for Signar. Sturge is running around being a Quickly, hero. Jakes. Don't let them exit that bunker! There are so many! <laughs> and they are talking Improvise. about that bunker. Improvise with what? There's nothing here but a bunch of wrecks and oil drums and... Oh. And in case that wasn't laid out for you, they are nice enough to highlight it for you. So, now I just have to go and shoot him. Alright, so... I don't know who's closer, but I'm gonna give full focus to Bandit and upkeep sidekick. We'll let him move up first. Me. Doesn't even show me what's available, so. Let's see if, if with my dual cannon I can aim at. Oh, look, I can. So we'll just do that first. The other side, quickly! Sir, I might need to borrow some more bullets, or maybe say a chain gun? Too much chatter, Lieutenant! Move it! Yes, sir! Seems saying she talks too much. 
All right, we'll boost that second shot. Kind of wasted the extra focus on him, but whatever. Uh, she needs to get back up in control area. And she can try to finish that guy. Oh, good. That was easy. And it will end turn, see what Sturgis does. Cool. And his guy, what is he? It's an ironclad, yeah. Ah, uh, more focus to him, I guess. Hmm, try getting up in there. And we'll see if we can aim at the other barrel. No, we can't, so we're just gonna have to shoot Kadorans. Poor Kadorans. Let's try that again. Ugh, oh, almost dead. Alright, Allie, what are we doing here? You can run up there, but I don't think you can do much. No, you can't, so I'll just let her run. Ooh. Like up over there, give her some cover from shots. We'll end turn, let's start just do his thing. Or maybe the ironclad first. He's just running. We've got Iron Fang to deal with, because that sucks. Alright, upkeeping that. I'm just putting a bunch of focus on Jack again. Let's try to activate her first. Move up there. Try and throw a hand cannon shot at that. Come off! The gates are almost open! Oh, sure, sure. Take your time. I can do this all day. Next time, though, let's bring along a little more firepower. Okay, so what my strategy here will be is I'm going to move uh, Bandit up so that he's next to her so she can't be knocked down by that Iron Fang dude if he comes after her. Boost a shot at this guy. And we'll boost a second shot at him. There we go. Alright, that's all I can do. It's up to Sturgis. He will evidently be taking care of that guy for me. Easy enough. I don't know what he just did. That guy randomly wants to melee with me, so whatever. And we've got Iron Fangs coming out over there, which... They just critted on the ironclad and knocked him down. So that's kind of not great. Uh, let's see. So Bandit, he can go back to shooting. We'll upkeep. I'm just going to assume Allison Jakes can handle this guy, so... My life, okay, though. And since you can sprint up, we're going to do that. Keep Bandit in the control area. Sprint is super helpful, by the way. Alright, so now let's see what we can shoot at. We can shoot that guy in the back. Uh, in fact, that's all we can do, so we are going to boost a shot at him in the back. And still miss. That's awesome. Next shot. One shot. Fair enough. At least I don't feel like I wasted the focus. Alright, so Sturge is gonna have to... Apparently he's ignoring his ironclad. He allocated no focus to get the guy to stand up. And those guys are coming after me. Huh. That doesn't make me feel good. I'll just let Bandit uh, handle them. I don't know why the camera just flipped over there. Ending control phase. Honestly, I can stand still to aim, and I don't really get any bonus for it for whatever reason. So, whatever. Let's we'll shoot this first guy here. The cannon shot. Critical. It did more damage, but didn't really do anything else. Next shot. There we go. And then... She's next to him. I don't really see much need to do anything else with her. Sturgis is still making his way to the gate. The Ironclad can still attack. Ugh, there are shots I need to take. Maybe I can stand in front here. Let's see. Can't shoot anyone else. That wasn't bad. My life for signal. All right, so he's made it to the gate, and the ironclad is going to, I guess, just miss that guy. 
Ah, there we go. I should hope so. So I just need to get up to the gate, but we do need to clear that last guy. So we'll keep all that again. Move Bandit up. Shoot. And miss. Take two. There we go. Not a whole lot, but something. And Jake's move up. Eh. Apparently just not want to move where I actually want to move. Maybe if I move the camera. There we go. Alright, we'll just... That's all we can do there. Uh, he's not doing anything, so apparently she's gonna push me into the rounds until I finish that, finish off of that guy. So we'll do that. Boost. There. And I guess Allison has to go open the gates. Easy enough. She just has to run. Fangs. Stay clear of their blasting pikes or they'll take you off your feet. I really don't think bringing along a few trenches would have been helpful. Concentrate, Jakes. Don't forget your magic. Uh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, I ran Bandit out of my control area. Or I ran out of my control area. So, I can't really do anything there. Uh... Oh, I guess just end turn. Ah, reinforcements. Just in the nick of time. Well, not quite, but better late than never, I suppose. Lieutenant Jakes. Commander. Your performance today. Too much talking, sir. I'm <laughs> sorry. It won't happen again. Well done. Thank you. Well, they're so, having this heart-to-heart -heart while fighting some Iron Fang. This, this is weird. But, okay. It, then we're done. There you go. Another victory. I'd like to think I spared some Kodoran lives during that. Anyway, you can see, I lost no units, killed 10 enemies, it was exactly a 10 minute mission, so, so far pretty short. Um, all the objectives were kept, and let's see what bonus Jake's gets this time around. Like a little ballet pose there. Ooh, a focus increase. That is actually really helpful, because that'll increase my control area as well. I wonder how, wonder how much she'll grow by the time we get to the end of this. Okay, well that's uh, mission two, I guess the end of that one for now, and um, we will see you next week for the next one.